In this video, I reveal the 10 biggest lies that cookware brands want you to believe. You'll learn how these companies stretch the truth so you buy their products and spend more money than you need to. Sometimes it's the things they're telling you, but often it's the vital information they conveniently leave out that's most deceiving. So if you want to be an informed shopper that's never fooled by the marketing hype, watch this video to the very end. You've probably seen cookware companies advertising that their nonstick coating lasts longer than the competition. Some say it lasts 250% longer, 10 times longer, and even 70 times longer. While these numbers may be backed by actual testing, the claims are big and bold, while the detailed information about the testing methods and results are vague, limited, or totally non-existent. For example, the makers of the Blue Diamond Pan claim that it lasts 10 times longer, but there's nothing to substantiate these claims in the fine print. It says the claims are based on a technical report from the CSA group in 2018, but there's no other information or link to that report. And when you search for the report number, nothing comes up. If your nonstick coating really performed so much better than the competition, wouldn't you want your potential customers to see all the details? Misen claims that its nonstick coating lasts 250% longer. They determine this by shaking metal balls on the surface to simulate heavy kitchen use and comparing the condition of the coating after the test to other nonstick pans. While this test provides some insight, other factors that are difficult to simulate also play into the longevity of the nonstick pan, like heat, oils, cleaning methods, and contact with sharp utensils. The fact is that all nonstick coatings wear down over time. Some may last longer than others, but based on my experience testing dozens of cookware brands, how you use and care for these pans plays a much bigger role in their longevity than the specific coating. So take these claims with a grain of salt and always read the fine print. Another common claim cookware brands make is that their pots and pans come with a lifetime guarantee. They use language like, we stand by our cookware for life, guaranteed for life, designed to last a lifetime, or lifetime warranty. But if you read the fine print, almost all of these warranties only cover defects in materials and craftsmanship. They don't cover normal wear and tear or other issues that arise from improper use, such as scratches, warping or discoloration, and each brand has different definitions for care and use. The point is that the only thing guaranteed is that the pots and pans will arrive without any known issues. In most cases, there's no recourse if the pan warps, dents, the nonstick coating wears down, or the handle breaks. Speaking of handles, most brands attach the handles using very secure rivets, but some brands like DeMeyer and Farberware weld their handles to create a more seamless cooking surface that's easier to clean. DeMeyer claims on its website that these handles are ultra secure. In fact, they put out a video showing an employee jumping on the pan, showing the handle's strength. Unfortunately, welded handles are not always as secure as these brands claim. After about three months of using the DeMeyer Atlantis pan, I noticed the handle was loose. As I examined what was going on, I lifted the pan and the handle completely snapped off. I was lucky it didn't break while I was cooking and the pan was scorching hot. I'm not saying this happens frequently or that you should avoid all pans with welded handles, but it's a risk and calling them ultra secure isn't true based on my experience. When shopping for stainless steel cookware, you might see pans marketed as three ply or five ply. This refers to the number of bonded metal layers that make up each pan. Some brands emphasize having more plies, implying that five ply pans are superior to three ply, but in most cases, the core construction is actually the same. Standard three ply cookware contains two outer layers of stainless steel with an inner aluminum core, but technically that aluminum core is made up of three sheets, a thick middle aluminum alloy sandwiched between two two super thin pure aluminum sheets that help bond it to the steel. Rather than explaining this minor detail, they count the super thin barely visible aluminum layers and market their three ply cookware as five ply. For example, these two pans have the same composition, but the all clad pan is advertised as three ply and the made in pan is advertised as five ply. While the five ply label sounds more impressive, in reality, both pans have the same materials and thickness. And because of that, they perform similarly. Saving time and money is the oldest marketing message in the book, and cookware companies claim that you can do both by purchasing a complete cookware set. They say, don't waste your time picking out individual pieces, we've done that for you. And by the way, the set is cheaper than buying each piece individually. While that is true, most sets include unnecessary sizes, extra lids, and pans you'll never use. In fact, some brands intentionally add pieces to sets 
that aren't selling well individually to help manage their inventory. So if you really wanna save money, only buy the essential pieces that you'll use regularly. Another deceiving marketing tactic is how cookware brands tally up the number of pieces in their sets. Most people assume a five piece set contains five distinct pots and pans. However, brands commonly count lids, utensils, and other accessories as pieces. So a typical five piece set usually breaks down to just three pans and two lids. Before purchasing any pre-configured cookware set, carefully inspect what pieces are included. Pay attention to the pan selection, not the total number of items. Most people who live in the United States prefer to buy local American-made cookware, and the marketing teams at these cookware brands know this. So the brands that make their cookware in the USA highlight that prominently on their website and in their ads. But in some cases, the cookware isn't 100% made in the USA. For example, Allclad makes the body of its pans in the US but the handles and lids are made in China and attached in the US. That's why the bottom of the pan says bonded, engineered, and assembled in the USA and not made in the USA. Another example is Heritage Steel. The end product is formed and assembled in their Tennessee factory, but they import sheets of bonded stainless steel from South Korea and the handles are made in China. These companies don't necessarily lie about this, but it's often buried in their website's fine print or FAQs. Most nonstick cookware brands tell you to avoid metal utensils because they can scratch and ruin the nonstick coating, and that's wise advice. But some brands like Ninja Never Stick, Calphalon Signature, and Hexclad try to differentiate themselves by calling their cookware metal utensil safe. The reality is that no nonstick coating is immune to scratches, and using metal spatulas, forks, and spoons increases the risk of damage. Even Hexclad, which has raised steel on its surface to prevent utensils from touching the nonstick coating, can get scratched. Interestingly, Calphalon advertises their signature pans as metal utensil safe, but after a customer left a review complaining about the coating scratching, the Calphalon customer service rep advised them to not use metal utensils. So is the pan metal utensil safe or not? On a similar note, many companies claim their pots and pans are dishwasher safe, and for the most part, you can get away with cleaning them in the dishwasher. But if you want your cookware to last long, I would avoid the dishwasher. The detergent, high heat, high water pressure, and potential contact with other items can damage the nonstick coating. You can even run into issues with stainless steel cookware. In fact, Allclad recently settled a class action lawsuit because of this. The lawsuit alleges that Allclad advertised its cookware as dishwasher safe, but when cleaned in the dishwasher, Washer, one or more of the bonded layers become thin and sharp. Allclad did not admit to wrongdoing, but they agreed to a settlement and to refund or replace any damaged pans. Since the settlement, Allclad now says its pans are not dishwasher safe. A recent trend in the cookware industry is these all-in-one pans like the Our Place Always Pan and the Ninja Possible Pan. These pans promise to save you money and space by doing the job of several pans. While you can certainly use many different cooking techniques, they're just aluminum nonstick pans with tall sides, a spoon or a spatula, and a steamer basket. The only real difference between these pans and a standard saute pan is the steamer basket that comes with it. But you can buy one of those for under $10. So if the Always Pan has 10 functions, a standard stainless steel saute pan without the steamer basket has nine. Also, if you look at the Always Pan FAQs, it says it replaces 10 different pans, including a fry pan, saute pan, steamer, roasting dish, baking dish, skillet, saucier, nonstick pan, spatula, and spoon rest. But fry pans and skillets are the same thing, and a nonstick pan is a vague term that usually refers to a nonstick fry pan, so there seems to be some double counting to get to the number 10. My best advice is to avoid these pans because they're expensive, don't provide much additional value, and the marketing language is questionable at best. So which lie did I miss? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, check out this video where I break down the most common mistakes people make when buying stainless steel cookware. And don't forget to click the logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.